Well, if you do your social networking on the net, then you know about Facebook.com. The website is the latest and hottest thing. Its founder is a 22-year-old computer whiz who turned down, get this, a billion bucks to sell his site to Yahoo. But not everyone loves Facebook. To fill us in and get us up to speed, our tech expert, Jesse Hirsch. So I, I think to the uninitiated, the, the name Facebook's been bandied about. People know, they've got this idea that it's folks blib blabbing online, but it's so much more than that and it is so hot. Just explain again the breadth and depth of Facebook and how it works. Well, essentially it's a social networking site. It allows you to connect to all the friends really that you've ever had and allows you to share, you know, photos, images, video files with them, similar to other sites. But what differentiates it is a level of surveillance. You know, I've always said that the internet is an inherent surveillance system. Right. Facebook gives that power to the average user. It allows you to spy on your friends, to see everything they do. And, you know, this level of transparency may be exciting to some, but to others, I think it really terrifies them. Well, and certainly in, in recent weeks, we, we've, we've understood a bit of the scope and the reach of Facebook. Uh, why is it so controversial right now and, and giving some people pause? Well, part of it has to do with the phenomena of cyberbullying, which Facebook really has been quite a breeding ground for because of the ease of which large groups of people can assemble within minutes around any given topic. So what's been really popular is targeting school officials, like vice principals and principals. So let's say the entire school's online, one person steps forward and says, you know, Mr. Joe is X. Right. Then everyone jumps on forward with all their insults and it really becomes a snowball of a lot of negative behavior and then people on the outside see that and really get horrified. Well, and, and beyond the, 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 the kind of piling on and the feeding frenzy, it can be a catalyst to action as well, right? Oh, absolutely. There are, I was reading a case of a blog in the United States who's received death threats as a result of a similar sort of insult chain as you were and she's withdrawn from a conference she's speaking at because she feels these death threats are real so it does really translate into the real world so so it has that potential downside or dark side but I have to think if if that's the kind of dynamic that's created by Facebook huge opportunities I would think uh, for efforts to rally the public around anything right well absolutely there's a lot of really positive charity work that's going on in Facebook and politicians have really gravitated to Facebook especially in the last few weeks mm -hmm. here in Canada all the leaders of the federal political parties are on Facebook and there's tons of of MPs who are even doing nomination battles. Bob Ray's nomination in right. Toronto Centre, both he and Meredith Cartwright both had active Facebook pages and groups and were using Facebook as a way to reach out to young Liberals in their riding. And you'll see this in all other ridings as the election continues, that Facebook is the way to reach out to young voters. Wow, no, that's going to be very interesting to monitor in any and all elections. But this particular month has been so intense, I guess we could call it March Madness. Why has this this month been so busy with, with Facebook? Well, I think it's really a critical mass that as a number of your friends get online, the peer pressure for you to get online increases. And because so many people can connect in such a short amount of time, you're seeing this explosion where, you know, I when I logged on two months ago, I didn't really know anyone on Facebook. Now I have over a hundred friends and people from elementary school are getting in touch with me wow. saying, remember grade four? <laughs> and yeah, it's a bit of a stretch to remember. Haunted by your past, Jesse. Well, it's the perpetual reunion, right? Yeah. It's everyone you've ever known comes together. And yeah. I think that makes it really that exciting. And New meaning to connectedness for sure. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you.